Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm here for Scrappy Tells Crafts today, and I get to show you a few of the brand new products in the shop. I'm going to be making up a set of slimline Christmas cards with some of these products. The first one I want to show you is the Outline Poinsettias. This set is awesome because it cuts out the flowers and the leaves, but also you can add an outline over them. Next up is the assorted Christmas leaves. Look at the size of these. You can make up so many fun Christmas and winter and even fall time cards with this set. I'm so excited to play with this set. The set I'm going to be using for my three cards today is this one, and this is the Hot Foil Poinsettia Flower Set of Three. I also have the coordinating dies for it. And if you're new to hot foiling, it's great to have coordinating dies or being able to cut out your images and put them on your card that way. For my sentiments on my cards today, I'm going to be using the hot foil Christmas sentiment set of three. Look how large and fun these are. They also have coordinating dies and it cuts out all of the little details around the words and even some little dash lines around them. If you like really big sentiments on your cards, then this set is for you. So let's start on some hot foiling. I use the Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil System, and I have it plugged in and it's just sitting at the side of my desk warming up. But while that is heating up, I'm going to start cutting out some foil. I'm going to be cutting out the poinsettias with many different colors, starting with pink. I love pink poinsettias. The paper I'm using to foil all of these images and sentiments today is Yupo paper. This is a synthetic plastic paper, but it just foils beautifully, especially when you have a lot of surface area to foil like these poinsettias. So I have the paper and then the foil pretty side up, and then I put my plates face down and tape them onto the paper. Once my machine is ready, it stops blinking, and then I can just flip this over so that the plates are on the base. And then I put my plastic plates on top of that. I do have a cardstock shim in between these two plates. And I press the button timer. Once that stops flashing, I can take the whole system out of the machine and run it through my die cutting machine very slowly. And here it is. It's kind of hot to begin with, of course. I'm just going to put it on this plastic mat to let it cool. I'm being careful not to touch the hot plates, but I just want to pull up the tape and show you how beautifully this foils. I love creating poinsettia cards for Christmas, and so I was super excited to get this set. If you do touch the plates, they're not going to burn you. They're not that hot, but they are kind of warm, so I'm just being kind of careful <laughs> about that. And look at these beautiful pink poinsettias. It did overfoil, but that's okay because I'm going to be die cutting these. So here are the coordinating dies. I'm going to take these out of the packaging and snip them apart with some wire snips. They cut out the leaves too, but I just love the large size of these poinsettias. You can wiggle them back and forth as well if you don't have metal snips. And then you can just tape these in place and run them through your die cutting machine. They're very easy to line up. So I'll tape each one in place. Let me pull this off camera for a second. And here they are all ready to go. I'm going to be foiling up a bunch. I'm not going to show you all of the foiling because it did take me some time. But it is a really fun process. Look at this beautiful green foil that I'm going to create some leaves with. There's so many different types of foil out there. This is all Spellbinders foil that I'm using today. But let's put this on another piece of Yupo paper and tape it in place. I think these green leaves are my favorite. I also foiled some pink leaves and some silver leaves. But these bright green leaves are just stunning. So I'll flip it onto my Glimmer Hot Foil system and put the plates on top. And then again, I'll just press the timer button. 
This time I put a thicker piece of white cardstock folded in half in between my plates just to give it a little more pressure when I run it through my die cutting machine and that seemed to help a lot. So let's take this off the machine. I'm going to let these cool down for just a minute while I do some more foiling. And you can do it like this. So you put the plate down and then the foil, pretty side touching the plate, and then your piece of paper. If you don't want to tape it in place, you can do this method. And then just put the plates on top and press the timer button. While that's going, let's pull off the foil from these beautiful leaves. Isn't that just stunning? And again, the overfoiling on the edges doesn't matter because I'm going to cut them out. This is a great way for beginners because you don't have to worry about the overfoiling. You can just cut them out and put them on your cards. Okay, so let's run this through my die cutting machine and pull off the red foil. And here's a beautiful red poinsettia. Let's try a sentiment next. So I'm going to foil it with some gold, some bright gold foil. I'm going to tape it in place this time so it doesn't shift when I run it through my die cutting machine. And here are the plates and I'll press the timer button. This magnetic tool came with my glimmer set and it just helps you pick up your hot plates without burning your fingers. So let's pull off the sentiment plate. And then the foil. The foil is so thin, sometimes it can be hard to pick up. <laughs> Let's peel this off and look at that stunning sentiment. Now let's pull out the coordinating dies for the sentiments. And again, I'm going to snip these apart with my wire snips. And these are so detailed and fun, but let's tape this in place. And here it is all cut out. I'm going to hot foil the other two sentiments as well. I'm going to foil it with some black foil and some red foil. This one's such a pretty gold. Now let's start putting this card together. I have an older set of Slimline Everyday Borders dies that I'm going to use one of. I love this kind of sloping border and it has some dots detailing on it. I'm going to cut off the edge of my slimline panel. This is going to add some fun interest to the card. And all three of my slimline cards have the same design but just different colors. Okay, so here it is, ready to go. I just love that slopey side. Now this is a set of zips adhesive. I accidentally purchased this thinking they were the dots. And I was going to take it back to Michael's, but it came in handy with my ribbon. So it's just a strip of adhesive and I'm putting a piece of white and black ribbon over it. This is going to keep the ribbon securely on the front of my card. I love black and white colors, paper or ribbon or whatever with florals. And so I wanted to add a little bit of black and white ribbon. I love this ribbon. This is from Spellbinders as well. So I'll roll my adhesive back up. And so this was a really happy mistake. I like this product. Let's pull the backing off of this adhesive. I'm going to line up my panel on my mat so I can try to get this ribbon straight down the side of it. And then this just pulls off easily. And then I can just stick this on the front of this panel and then just kind of press it in place. The overhang, I'm just going to wrap around the back of it. And this will keep it from coming undone or unraveling. I decided to pop this panel up with some foam strips and put it on my white card base. This white card base is eight and a half by three and a half. That's the general size I like to make when I'm creating slimline cards. And now for the sentiment, I'm using a little bit of dot liner down the center of it. And then on the edges, I'm going to use some glue. I'll just put little dabs on the side of it. 
this goes really well on the ribbon because it has kind of a rectangular shape down the middle of this sentiment. And it just looks really good on this slimline card. But of course, these could fit on any size card that you'd like. Even your A2 sized cards. And now let's pop up the largest of the two poinsettias. I'm just going to put these at the bottom. These are the red ones, and then I'll, I'll lift this up and put a leaf behind it. The smaller poinsettia, I'm going to glue down flat just above the larger one. And I like how they come off the side of the blue panel. The white on the side of the slimline card kind of coordinates with the white around my flowers and my sentiments. So that's why I liked this white border on the side of my card. The rest of the leaves I'm going to glue down flat and just kind of tuck them behind the poinsettias. I'm going to lift up this larger one again so I can put another leaf under there. And then I am going to put a bow just above the poinsettias and I'll use a micro dot to attach this. You might want to add a little bit of liquid adhesive as well, just to keep it securely in place. And now for some red sequins, I'm just going to put three along this panel. So my other two cards are the same design, but just different colors. And here is the first one. It's hard to capture all of that beautiful shine from the foiled flowers. Here's card number two. I used pink poinsettias and a gold sentiment for this one. The leaves are silver. And then on card number three, the poinsettias are gold with green and pink leaves. These are going to be really fun and festive cards to send out into the mail. I just love how they turned out. I'll have all of the links to the products that I use listed in the description box below if you want to go over to Scrappy Tells Crafts and check them out. There are a lot of gorgeous new products at the shop. Thanks for spending some of your time with me today. I hope that you were inspired, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!